What's up guys, we're back with more vampire where last left off, off we enter Donson's house. Now we're gonna go find him. Let's go. Well well well. What do we have? Finally here? you're here, Dr. Reed. What took you so long? I had to pass several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, pestilence around us, and time is against me. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Believe me, there is a huge difference between reading about vampires and waking up as one. I learned that myself the hard way. Oh my god, man! Stop your whining! I don't have time for your pointless jibber-jabber. Let's move on, then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be as an immortal? To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last! All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. Are you ready for immortality, Mr. Dawson? Drink now, and say farewell to life as you prepare to be reborn. What do you mean, drink? What about the blood transfusion? I'm the doctor and the vampire here, so I'll give the orders. Drink, sir. Now. All right. Good. That's enough. That's enough, I said. I will not die. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, no. You will die, sir. Steal yourself. You're already in death's Done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? Yes, my lord. Ascalon has a new recruit, as you ordered. Wonderful news. I've waited for this outcome for so long. Tonight you served your country, the king himself, beyond all Boy, expectation. Should I choose thank the you, wrong my choice? No, thank you, Dr. Reed. Now, could you do me one last favor? Of course. What is it? Go outside and talk with that disgusting creature I saw waiting for you in front of this mansion. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'll have a look. Good. I didn't kill her on the spot. 
for she claims to be a friend of yours. But don't you dare bring such a creature near me again. What did I do? Did I choose the wrong thing? We meet again at the strangest of times, young Econ. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget? What are you doing here? Your friend, the wise Econ. She sent me to warn you. Lady Ashbury? You know her? Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago, wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones, she agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going on. The lady asked us to keep an eye on your mortal doctor friend while you were away. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. No time to lose, then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Yes. Tell her I love her. Is this still unknown to her? Go now and take care, young Econ, for the flames are rising. Loading.
What is this truck? Are the vampire hunters here already? Bastards. What have they done to Edgar? going on here? Ah! Oh, whoa, what's going ah! on? Ah! Ah! Ultraviolet ah! curtains and Ori Calcum powder. Ah! Dr. Swansea's ah! always been a resourceful bastard. I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Ah! 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 Says a lot about ah! how much he trusts you. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for what What are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You aim to unleash another disaster just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it. Just like you are. You're a progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. <clears throat> Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We've found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Uh, uh. <laughs> so much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. <laughs> Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. Show some style. Fight like a man. I'll pin you down!
come on. of a true defender of your land will protect me. of a true defender of this land will protect me. Okay, come on. Let's see. Um, I don't have any. Okay, fine. The shotgun's going to What pin you down? the guardian of justice. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? <laughs> we always have been, and we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind, your kind are the worst. I'm not saying we could be friends, you and I. But perhaps we could collaborate to put an end to this epidemic. Never! We are pre-win. We do not negotiate. We do not compromise. There is no way you'll ever let me be, McCullum. You'll always hunt me down, won't you? There is no escape, Leech. Kill me now. For there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. <sighs> That's where you're mistaken. I'll spare you, McCollum. I'll offer you the mercy you never offered me. What is this ruse? This is no ruse, McCollum. This is me letting you go. After all, you and I are both trying to save this poor country in our own way. 
I'll kill you, Reed. Next time we meet, I'll end you. See? Progress already. You called me by my name. Until the next time. Goodbye, Hunter. Well, at least that's a first. I let him go. Done. So that's going to do it guys, if you guys want more, make sure to subscribe, leave a like on this video, hit the bell, be notified for new videos, and I'll see you guys later, bye.